Hey, it's Captain Matt, Boat Buyer's Secret Weapon, and today we're talking about the pros and cons of jet boats, jet drives specifically. So let's start with the pros. For me, one of the big pros with the jet drive system on a, I'm talking fiberglass boats, not a jet drive on an outboard or not a, a jet drive on an aluminum boat that's going to go through the rivers, but it opens up the swim platform on the back and allows you, because of the low profile nature of the engines that they use, you can do a cool two tier swim platform on the back. Great for anchoring, great for the sandbar, uh, great for doing stuff on the back of the boat. It's a really fun spot. Next is it's a fun system to drive. It's quick. It's sporty. The acceleration is instant. The handling is, is sharp like a sports car. It's a fun, fun boat to drive. Another pro, there's no exposed propeller at the back of the boat. You've got the impeller, which has some disadvantages, but it's inside the boat, so there's nothing to get um, you know somebody's foot caught or uh, or nicked or dinged or chopped, uh, which is a, a safety issue. Next is it's a pretty simple winterization process with these jet drives because it's just pulling the water in and through. It's easy to flush that out and avoid freeze damage, uh, which allows you to extend the season in certain situations. Now the cons. The cons on the jet drive is they run at much higher RPM uh, due to the smaller impeller. Instead of having a big propeller that's outside the boat that screws through the water, you've got a smaller impeller that's going to shoot the water out that uh, nozzle in the back. That higher RPM, well, it causes a little bit more vibration and kind of a higher pitch noise. Not bad, but different. Uh, but it does run at those higher RPMs. The next is there's typically no trim, so you can't trim that drive out of the water, uh, which means if you're in water with a lot of growth, if you leave the boat in the water for even a, a day or two, you can start to get growth inside that nozzle, uh, which can be very difficult um, to, to remedy. You also, it limits your ability to trim the boat uh, to give you a more comfortable, smooth ride in rough chop. Um, next is the durability and the longevity of those engines because they run at the higher RPM and also the people that like that sporty, faster um, handling, that quick acceleration, they tend to do the <laughs> to run the boat that way. That's why they got it. And so they're going to be running at higher RPMs. Uh, they're going to be running faster. They're going to be a little bit harder on that boat overall. Stereotypical, uh, but overall they're going to be a little harder on the boat than somebody that has an outboard or a stern drive. Next is if you have a boat over 20 feet, you're going to have to go to twin engines, which means double the oil changes, um, double the maintenance uh, on those engines. One more thing, one more system that can have problems down the line. Next, because of the impeller system, you can actually, it can run real shallow. It has a shallow draft, but that draft is also, remember, you're sucking water up about two thirds of the way past uh, through the boat up and into that system. Well, you can get a rope sucked up in there. More frequently, you can get rocks and weeds sucked up in there, which is going to cause some issues and sometimes some very serious issues. They also, they can be slightly harder to maneuver at slow speeds. Now, this was worse back in, let's say, 2008 and further back. They developed some rudder systems. They developed some docking modes, which changed the angle of the, of the um, buckets so that the, the push is more down to give you directional control, but, but not out, which is going to give you speed. They both, the, all of the manufacturers have improved on that. So that's becoming less and less of an issue. But if you go older, it, it is something that needs to be addressed. And, and they've got some aftermarket products that can do it. It can be harder to find a technician to work on some of these boats. Because they're a different style of boat, they're really a jet ski engine in a boat, which means that a, a Mercruiser or a Volvo or a Yamaha or a Mercury dealer, typically, unless they sell those brands, aren't going to work on those engines because they're just different enough, take some specialized tools, some specialized knowledge, um, that you're going to have to find somebody that specializes in the Yamaha jet engines 
uh, or the BRP Rotax engines if that's what you have in it. Uh, so those are some of the pros and cons of the jet boats. I've got a whole video on all about jet boats that you may want to watch if you're interested in it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps spread the word. We always appreciate that. Real simple to click that button if you got value. If you're shopping for a boat, grab the free Boat Buyers Toolkit. Totally free, boatbuyerstoolkit.com. 25 pages of checklist, questions to ask, just a really, really valuable tool. It's yours for free. Um, just uh, put in your information and it will send right to you. Remember, life truly is better on a boat.